All right, Taylor, thanks, and as promised, let's head out to East Lansing now and bring in one of the best defensive players in the country. He is Shalik Calhoun. Shalik, what is it like to be the number two team in the country? Uh, it's special, you know, to see that, you know, actually that hard work pay off and show that, you know, we've been trying to get to these levels, you know, and show that we're, we're working hard to get there. And also as a sense of respect, you know, respect for every other team and uh, everyone that's been at this, that's, that's been in this position, you know, because obviously it isn't easy. So uh, it's just respect. And then uh, at the same time, it's an amazing feeling just to have the opportunity to be here. How happy are you to be done with Air Force prep? <laughs> Oh, we're pretty excited. I mean, their offense is pretty tedious. And, you know, <laughs> it, it, you get a good understanding of what they're doing, but the thing is, it's, it's hard to stop them because they do it so well. And they're so disciplined of a team. So, uh, you know, being in the Air Force and having that Air Force team come here just shows the discipline that they have as, as individuals and also as a group. So uh, it's nice to get the win. Uh, respect them a lot and uh, happy to be finished with it at the same time. So one of your teammates, uh, Riley Bullock, gets ejected last week for targeting. Uh, how do you guys respond to that? Is that sort of like we have to do our best to make sure we practice the right way now so that we don't get that? Or do you just sort of go, man, that was a one-off weird tackle. We're not thinking that much about it. Uh, we always keep it in the back of our minds because it's something that can happen, you know, uh, in the game situation. And, and I'm pretty sure it happens at practice and it goes unnoticed because we're moving so fast and things are happening so fast. But at the same time, it's... Uh, kind of a sense in, in, in the same sense as 2013 when, you know, Max Buller was unable to play. Uh, we just kind of have to bounce back from it, you know, just keep working, keep working towards the team effort. And at the same time, we have guys that come in and play that role. So uh, we're not focusing too much on him being out. You know, we can't wait for him to come back. I think it's after the first quarter. So uh, we'll be happy to have him back. But at the same time, we have guys that can come in and be playmakers also. So uh, there's no really, you know, no focal point really, you know, that's focused towards that too much. You're a few games into the season now. Give me the biggest difference with not having Pat Narduzzi as a defensive coordinator. Um, <laughs> I'll keep it classy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my guy. I love him, man. I love him to death. But uh, I would say that fourth quarter maybe coming down, just having him come down uh, to the field and, and kind of give a pep talk in a sense. But we have that in other coaches, you know, where they keep making sure they monitor us and make sure that we're all on point and make sure that we're all focused and ready to go. Uh, I think, like I said earlier uh, in the year, having him as a person is probably the biggest difference, you know, not having – not not – uh, Coach Narduzzi, but uh, Mr. Pat Narduzzi here. You know, that's the biggest difference. You missed the six-bar Bane face mask? <laughs> of course, man. That was my alter ego, but I'm trying to find another way. <laughs> well, because you had the impression, too. <laughs> I would never do the impression again. You, you tricked what me into doing it about? last time. You were great. I would never do it again. No way. I hate, I hate, I hate to hear myself after I did it. I was You're like, oh, kidding. I'll never do that again. I'm telling you, Shalik, <laughs> that was a good impression, man. You want a lot of people over with that. <laughs> I fooled a lot of people. I guess you, you, gave them, <laughs> you, gave them a little, you gave me a little vote of confidence, but I struck myself down once I heard it myself. Well, maybe you have <laughs> a new alter ego. What is your Twitter profile photo? Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a little cartoon from back in the day. Is that uh, from Doug? Skeeter. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. so he was <laughs> he was basically in a sense the bully, you know, and that's the kind of person I'm trying to be on the field, just the big bully on the field, <laughs> uh, to have my way, to be dominant, and uh, it, it's not it's basically is it's, I don't want you to see my face. That's what I want you to see when you see me out there. Just someone who's just <laughs> tough, not one of those I'm strong tough, but like man, he's a tough. He's a tough guy, you know, he's a tough, <laughs> tough opponent, and he has that, that tough, like, mentality about him. <laughs> that is a deep cut with a Doug reference. I love it, Shalik. <laughs> um, if I said the best talker on your Spartan team, I think just about everybody would say it's you. So who's number two? I'm definitely not number one. What? A lot of people are fooled into believing that I am far from it. I actually hate hearing myself talk, and <laughs> I don't believe people when they say I do a great job. I'm like, that, no, it sounds awful. Uh, but... Who I would place in number one would probably probably be either Darren Harris or Connor Cook. Connor does a great job of speaking, and so does Darren. They're very articulate, and they pronounce their words very well. Anybody have a better haircut on the team than you? Oh, not at all. No one looks better than me. You know, it's just, it just comes with the territory. You know, I'm a good-looking guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, do I, what do I need to know about Malik McDowell? This is a youngster who's making an impact. Uh, that this is going to be a great year for him. You know, he's one of those guys that has advanced over, through the past year, uh, has learned a lot, not only that, but is putting it to good use on the field, you know, and I think that uh, last year he didn't get much notice. Well, he did get a lot of notice for being a freshman, but he didn't get much notice because people was more focused on, oh, Shalik is back for another year, you know, how he's playing, this is how he's playing or this is how he isn't playing. But I think this year, uh, being that our defense is being recognized a lot more, I think people will see that he's an uh, even bigger playmaker than uh, you know, even people would imagine. You know, he's one of those tall guys who can also stay low, though. You know, he can play very low down to the ground and uh, uses his hands very well, as you, I'm pretty sure you guys saw in the Oregon game. Well, as we let you go, Shalik, I just want to say you have the appropriate amount of confidence about your haircut, but you need more confidence <laughs> about your impersonation skills. That's a good vein, man. When you want to bust that out <laughs> again, you, you let me much. know. All right, I'll let you. You'll be the first to know. Good man. <laughs> Shalik Calhoun, thanks for joining us. Good luck this weekend. Have a great day.